Oysters are uh, broadcast spawners. When the water gets about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, they, uh, they spawn, egg and sperm goes into the water column, those meat in the water column. Um, create a oyster larvae. That oyster larvae is called a spat. Uh, the spat floats around in the water column for about two weeks, two to three weeks, uh, and uh, and it's it needs a hard substrate to land on. And these recycled shells that we use uh, provides the hard substrate. Uh, what we we have a lot of is uh, soft mud, fluff mud. We're all familiar with uh, out in our. Give me a second, get unstuck every once in a while. Out in our waterways, uh, oysters aren't going to be able to land there and live. They need uh, uh, some sort of uh, hard substance. Uh, once they land, they cement onto the, uh, onto the uh, oyster shell and they begin to grow. They grow into uh, what we know and see out on our shorelines as oyster reefs. Uh, they, when they grow together, they create interstitial spaces. That's habitat for worms and crabs, small organisms. Uh, once those organisms kind of move into the uh, the new oyster apartments, um, the that brings in the, the bigger, uh, bigger organisms, uh, fin fish species. Um, uh, the, mainly the stuff that we like to go out and catch, uh, but the smaller stuff comes first and then all in all there's about a hundred species that are dependent on oyster reefs at some point in their life cycle. That includes all those small invertebrates, fin fish species, um, and uh, some offshore species of uh, grouper and, and snapper are also uh, spend some juvenile time around oyster reefs. So. Uh, that kind of covers the first uh, reason why we're here. Oysters are habitat forming. Second reason is they filter water. One mature oyster can filter uh, two and a half gallons of water per hour. It's up to 50 gallons of water per day. Uh, they're filtering out uh, sediments in the waterway, improving water clarity. They're filtering out phytoplankton, uh, which is what they eat. Uh, that phytoplankton, if it goes unchecked, can cause uh, a low oxygen uh, situation in the water, which will result in fish kills. So uh, oysters also slow down shoreline erosion. Um, they, uh, they act as a natural breakwater. Uh, on banks without oysters, you'll see erosion, you'll see uh, um, <clears throat> no soft sediment for the most part. You'll see marsh lines eroding away. Um, I'm gonna hit it up.